guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be finally filming on a real, legit camera. <laughs> I am going to do a uh, an unboxing, sort of unboxing, but you know how you get impatient and you just gotta open stuff up? I'm that person. So, I'm unboxing my BoxyCharm for March and my Ipsy. Now, I already used some of this stuff because, like I said, I'm impatient. So, let's start with BoxyCharm. From BoxyCharm, the theme this month was Creepy Cute, and it comes with this creepy cute little postcard thing. Um, honestly, BoxyCharm is $21 a month. It is like the best $21 I could ever spend on anything in a month because I get to try out all this these great products, and I get to get some things that I already use, and that's already included. For instance, the first thing on this card, well, this card has everything on here um, with the prices and everything, too. I'm going to go through them one by one. The first thing on this card is something that I already love and use and had just ran out of. So I was like, oh, want to open it up. By the way, it comes in this cute uh, packaging, boxy charm. It's in a cute little box. Get it? And it says, hello, charmer. So I always get so excited when I see this in my mailbox. This is the smash box. There we go. Okay, Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Foundation Primer, oil-free. I need oil-free because your grill gets pretty oily and sweaty. So this has been my holy grail. I went to Ulta a few months ago and I was like asking like, man, what can I use because like my face be sweating, especially my nose. Um, so I was like asking the lady that worked there and she's like, you need to try the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Primer or whatever. Try this stuff. Um, I bought the sample of this just to try it, and then I just ran out, but it lasts me a few months. You see what I'm saying? So this stuff is really good. The consistency is really um, smooth. It's not like creamy. It's not additional oil. It makes your foundation just like live. Okay, the next thing that I'm looking at on this card, it says a deluxe fan brush. Now the thing about BoxyCharm, like I love getting um, brushes and things like that, but I feel like for the past few months they keep giving us fan brushes, which I'm kind of over. Um, but it's a nice fan brush, don't, don't get me wrong. This is what it looks like. I haven't even touched it yet, but it says Jumbo Kabuki Fan. I'm feeling, oh, okay, okay. That feels really good. It's by Crown Brush and um, BoxyCharm actually sent some other crown brushes a few months ago too. This is what it looks like. Yeah. And it is a SS023 Jumbo Kabuki Fan. Oh, I forgot to go over the, the prices. The photo finish primer that I just went over was uh, $16 retail price. This deluxe fan brush, $18.99 retail price. The next thing on here is the Urban Rustic Palette by Naked Cosmetics. Now, this I opened. When I got this, I was like, oh my god. First of all, that's cute, right? It's cute, it's small, throw it in your bag, go on about your day. So I opened it up and I already swatched it because I just dropped it. And we're back! Okay, so this is what it looks like. Super cute, super cute, right? Three colors. Now, I don't really wear green. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest. But we'll see. Maybe I'll try it out. Maybe I'll step outside of my comfort zone. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little, a little swatchy test with that. That's the green. It's not like, ah, uh, in your face green. Where is it? It's kind of subtle. But this middle color, though, this one swipe, y'all. <laughs> one swipe. This is, this is life. <gasps> yas, honey, yas. Okay, don't mind my hairy hands. Um, <clears throat> and this last one, oh, that's pretty too. <gasps> okay. I feel like they're kind of fall colors, but I'm not one to fall into those trends like, ooh, fall, spring, summer, winter. I don't care. Like, I just wear what I want to wear, do what I want to do. Um, 
that's nice and they're really creamy and shiny and metallic-y and pretty and I just can't wait to try them out y'all um and this retail oh I didn't even look I did not look at this price this retails for $39.99 $39.99 See, that's too much and that's that's why I say this box is worth it because I'm paying $21 like just for what I'm paying that's gonna cover like one item I'm saying okay the next thing I see on this paper here is the matte liquid lipstick by real her this is one of the things I tried and that I am <laughs> wearing today on my lips mm -hmm. Am I sweating? Yep. Yep. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. So, the packaging comes like this. I put it back in the box so I can act like I didn't open it. But I did. But I told you I did. So, this is what the packaging looks like. You know, you're going to have to really... There we go. Real her. It says, I am fearless back here. Which I think that's pretty cool. Right? Oh, come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. I am fearless. And so when I looked at it, I was like, oh, this definitely looks like a lipstick for sure. Oh, this is in the color Lady Love. And then I'm like trying to pull this thing up. Like, what? It's not <laughs> defect. And then I just realized you got to turn it. And it's more like a gloss. It's not a gloss. It's like a matte liquid lipstick. But it has the doe foot applicator. I just didn't realize that when I first got it. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for y'all right here on my hand. It's a really pretty, pretty fuchsia color, which is one of my favorite colors. Mm -hmm. Girl, there we go. So that's kind of what it looks like swatched on my hand. It dries really quick. Dries really quick. Dries really matte. I'm wearing it today underneath um a lip liner which we'll get to but this retails for fifteen dollars now i don't know about you but i ain't paying no fifteen dollars for a lipstick oh, you could miss me with that if you know me you know i can be a cheapskate the last thing i have is <laughs> the uh real her which is by the same brand um here it is the packaging very slim very sleek very beautiful um and this is a lip liner oh and here it says i am unique i think the packaging is so cute you open this up and this says i am unique unique new york unique new york i've never been able to do that my entire life anyways open it up and this is the color it's kind of it's to pair with the lipstick i'm gonna put this right here next to it and it's pretty much the same color there it is it's pretty equivalent so what I did was I put on um, I'm going through this phase where I'm kind of over matte lipsticks because I'm tired of my lips being dry and crusty so what I did was I put on a chapstick put on the lip liner put on the matte lipstick and I can still my lips can move you know what I mean like I like my lips to be able to move and I feel like with a lot of matte lipsticks it's just like this dry cracky Oh, so frustrating. Yeah. So, that's it for BoxyCharm. Let's add up how much this stuff costs. Like, if I were just to go to the store and buy this stuff, I'm going to get my calculator popping because... <laughs> and we got time for that. Y'all. Y'all. Okay, I didn't even... I should... Whoa. I didn't even okay this is what it adds up to can you see it can you see it can't there we go a hundred and twenty dollars and ninety eight cents bruh that's a lot for all this thing all these things yep yep that makes sense yep all these things okay all these things in this box I only paid twenty one dollars I ain't mad about it I am not mad about it. That's the end of Boxy Charm. Let's move on to Ipsy. Now, Ipsy is another beauty subscription service. Now, this one costs $10 per month and you get sample sizes. With Boxy Charm, you're going to get full size products for the most part. 
But the thing with Ipsy is it costs $10 a month, but you're just getting samples, which I think is still cool because you get to um, still try out new products and see if you like them, if you want to go spend the money on them or not. So, this, and then each, each month they send you a cute little bag, which I use for everything. I use one for my makeup. I give them away to people. But this month, it's so cute. It's like a um, pastel pink meshy with a gray... It's, it's adorable. You can like fold it over and all that stuff. Um, it's really cute. I like it. Um, some months I don't really like so much, but this is a good month. Now, this comes with a little card like the Boxy Charm does too, but you know, I'm going to be honest, your girl lost it. Okay. For um, Ipsy, I haven't tried any of the products, but I did open it and obviously go through it. Ipsy comes in this pretty pink envelope every single month get excited to see that in my mailbox this month they came together which i was like oh it's christmas in march it was great it was great it was great it was great first product i'm going to pull out is a kwai treatment mask and you get one fluid ounce of that yep now i haven't tried this yet but it says it's a restorative healing mask that's formulated to repair damage in minutes so you're supposed to smooth evenly through hair. I thought this was for your face. Okay, so <laughs> good thing I'm reading the directions. I'm gonna see what it smells like. I always gotta smell things before I use them. Big on that. Oh, that smells good. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like floral and clean. Not floral like old lady floral, but mmm, smells good. The next item I have here, this is a eyeshadow in the color Chestnut. There it is. And I haven't opened it yet, as you can see. So let's open it together. Together forever. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Like it does this little whoop. This looks like a shimmery brown. Obviously chestnut, huh? Obviously. That's pretty. I'm going to put that next to the other swatches. Not as pigmented as the ones from BoxyCharm. But it's cute. It doesn't really show up that well. It's not really that pigmented. If you look at it in comparison to the other ones here, you can't really see it. So let me see if I can really just build it up a little bit more really press in there yeah that's a little bit better but honestly truly it's not as pigmented as you see those but i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use it uh next item from ipsy is this dr brant micro microdermabrasion age defiant exfoliator hey so it's it's an exfoliant to anti-age this uh full size actually came in boxy charm last month by itself, it was a hundred dollars. A hundred dang dollars. I've used it a couple times and it makes your skin just feel like a baby's bottom. Just like buttery, smooth, and delicious. You're supposed to use it like once or three times a week. And um, you know, just rub it in and while your skin is wet, pat it dry, and you're honestly, oh, it just feels so good. So I'm glad that this came because when times get rough and I finally get rid of Oh, finish the one that I have I have this to back me up on because I am not spending $100 on this I am not I am so sorry no the last item that I have in my bag is a Tartiste lip paint that's cute okay so it looks like this it's a cute little lip paint and this is in the color vibin all right so I'm gonna do a little swatch I think this is a matte it's called a lip paint i'm running out of room here but we gonna make it work i'm gonna put it right next to the other swatches oh that's pretty it's like a brick uh brown type of color so you can see it's the one right there at the bottom and you look at it in comparison i could mix those together that would look pretty but that's nice it's more of a brown red brick type color and yeah it's drying down to a matte that's pretty and that's it for ipsy and uh 
that's it for boxy charm and uh that's it for me <laughs> well thank you for watching i sincerely appreciate the time that you have taken out of your busy day to come and hang out with me i hope you guys come back i'm gonna leave the links to boxy charm and ipsy in the description box below i'm also gonna leave all my social medias because i know you just want more of me i know you do i know you do i know you do but thanks for tuning in and i hope to uh make more videos um and just see you guys soon stay awesome and just peace out all right get out of here i'm like mtv cribs go go i missed that show <sighs> Tangent. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't trying to lie to kick it. <sighs> Did I just yawn? I just yawn. Sorry. I'm vibing. You vibing? We vibing. We vibing. Okay, I need some. Take it easy on the coffee. Focus on me. Focus on me. Ooh. Ooh.